Hi everyone, I'm just Isa, and welcome to Dark History of Sweden. I fell down a rabbit hole the other day reading up on some cults in Sweden, and I got stuck on a few. So that will be my new series, Cults of Sweden. This is still a part of the Dark History of Sweden thing that I've got going on, uh, but I will be making a new playlist called Cults of Sweden. So make sure that you are subscribed and hit that bell so you don't miss a video. The first cult we'll talk about is the Philadelphia Congregation in Knutby. It is also known as Knutby Congregation. The Philadelphia Congregation started up in 1921 in Knutby by a few Pentecostalists. By this time, this was just like any other congregation. No weird stuff or drama. Just your average Christian free church. By the 1930s, they had 106 members, but by the 1980s, they were down to 27. In 1993, Osa Valdo was hired by Kim Vincent, and she started working at Knutby Congregation. She worked hard at restructuring the congregation and recruited many followers especially younger people. In 1997, Helge Fosmos joined the church. Fosmo. Fosmo. Okay. In 1997, Helge Fosmo joined the church, and in 1998, Sara Svensson joined as well. By 2004, they had about 90 members, and the surrounding villages started to get worried and question the church since they had a problem with connecting with relatives involved in the congregation. 2004 was also the year that the Knutby drama took place, where someone was murdered. But we will get into that a little bit later. After March 2005, they opened and ran a spa resort. You didn't hear much until 2018. May 20th, 2018, they announced that the congregation was closing. Later in 2020, three people from the congregation was convicted with assault, threats, and sexual exploitation of a person in the position of dependence. Elsa Jakobsson, born in 1965, got her theological education from the Philadelphia congregation in Stockholm in 1985. At the end of the 1980s, she worked as a youth leader in a Pentecost congregation in Laxo. She even had her home open to youths, and they could stay the night if they needed to. 1993, she was let go because of her interest in working with teens and youths. It created a dissension amongst the Pentecostalists in Uppsala, and it was decided it was best that she quit. Kim Vincent, who she had studied with in Stockholm, offered her employment at the Philadelphia Congregation in Knutby. However, after she left and moved to Knutby, she moved in with 16-year-old Patrick Valdo, one of the participants from the youth group, and his parents. At the same time, she divorced her husband. Three years later, Osa and Patrick married. She became one of the seven layman pastors of Knutby's Philadelphia congregation. Like I said earlier, she tried to restructure the church and she did this mostly by starting youth groups. In 1999, she was ceremoniously made Bride of Christ. She has since then been the face and epitome of how a Bride of Christ should be. Helge Fosmo, born 1971 in Kristinehamn. In 1997, he and his family moved to Knutby and he joined the Philadelphia Church. December 18, 1999. His first wife, Helene, was found dead in a bathtub with a head wound, but also a toxic concentration of dextrocopoxifene in her blood. It was ruled as an accidental death 
but would be questioned again in 2004. November 25th, 2000. Fosmo married Alexandra Wikström, Elsa Valdell's younger sister. June 2001, Fosmo became severely ill and was rushed to the hospital. The family's nanny, Sara Svensson, came with him. A few days later, Sara Svensson moved into his bedroom to fight the demons with sex. Alexandra Wikström, born May 27th, 1980. She was the sister of Elsa Valdo, and thanks to her, she saw the light. After graduation in 1999, she moved to Knutvik and quickly got engaged to a member of the Philadelphia congregation. She got a job at Daniel Lindes computer company, Knutpunkten, where Helge Fosmo worked part-time. The day after Fosmo's wife died, Alexandra broke off her engagement, and in April of 2000, Helge and Alexandra were engaged. They married on 25th of November the same year. When Sara moved into Fosmo's bedroom to care for him, Alexandra had to move into the guest bedroom. According to Fosmo, was Alexandra on board with this because she believed that Osa Valdeo was the bride of Christ and had gotten a note from her that said, When you hear Helge and Sara talk, don't think wrong. They are not against you. Early 8th of November in 2003, Sara attacked Alexandra with a hammer. The Fosmo couple decided not to report it and sent Sara home to her parents in Jönköping. Sara Svensson, born 6th of April 1977. After graduating from the healthcare program, she worked a year with people with disabilities. After that, she spent some time in Anneby, studying at Bible school Lightforce, Livskraft. She decided to take her month of internship in Knutby. October of 1998, she joined Knutby Congregation's trainee school, and that was when she felt as if God wanted her to move to Knutby. And, as I mentioned earlier, she moved in with Fosmo in June of 2001. Apparently, she was married. I am unsure to whom, but they got married in September of 2000. After her attack on Alexandra in 2003, she was sent home to her parents in Vagerid, Småland. Daniel Linde was a member of the Philadelphia congregation and had lived in Knutby for a long time. He had even built the house he lived in. After the Knutby drama, he divorced his wife, Annette Linde, and has since moved away from Knutby. He no longer has any connections to the Philadelphia congregation. Now that we know everything we need to know about the people involved in this drama, let's dig into it. So, in 2004, a treacherous murder took place in Knutby. Everyone involved was all connected to the Philadelphia congregation. And it all centers around the pastor Helge Fosmo. Sara Svensson has started receiving text messages telling her to get a gun from someone in Stockholm and use it to kill Alexandra Fosmos and Daniel Linde. This was God's will. She did as she was told and procured the gun and made her way to the Fosmo residence. 9th of January 2004, Alexandra confronts her husband Helge Fosmo about his infidelity. They start to argue and in the heat of this argument, the handle to the terrace door broke off. Alexandra left to her neighbor's wife with the children and spent the evening there. Later, she came home and went to bed before Fosmo even had gotten home. Sara made her way into the house and over to the bedroom where Alexandra was sleeping. She hesitated at first, but remembered that this was her mission from God and shot Alexandra three times in the head. 
She quickly made her way over to the neighbor's house and shot Daniel Linde as well, before she ran away home to her parents. It didn't take long until Sara was arrested and confessed to the murders. What they didn't expect was the drama that would unfold. In Sara's testimony, she reveals that she and Helge Fosmo had a sexual relationship and that it was he who had instigated for her to murder Alexander. But why Daniel Linde? Why did he want him dead as well? It was uncovered that Fosmo and David Linde's wife, Annette Linde, also had a sexual relationship. Helge Fosmo were arrested on suspicion of murder and attempted murder, and a trial started May 18, 2004 in Uppsala District Court. Besides the fact that Fosmo told them that he had been in love with both women, Sara and Annette, the media also wrote about the demonizing and brainwashing that transpired in the cult in Knutby. Elsa Valdo also testified in court as she was the sister of the victim. The media once again wrote about how she was seen as the Bride of Christ and the one many in the congregation listened to. Her background being dug up and questioned in media. On the 30th of July in 2004, it was ruled that both Sara Svensson and Helge Fosmo were guilty. Sara was found guilty of murder and attempted murder. Her sentence was close forensic psychiatric care with special discharge on trial from the hospital. Fosmo was found guilty of instigation to murder and instigation to attempted murder. His sentence was lifetime in prison. October 14, 2014, Arebro court decided to put an end time on his prison sentence to 24 years. And in October of 2017, Fosmo appealed his sentence to change from a lifetime sentence to a dated sentence, but it was denied. But on December 4th, 2019, it was decided to change his lifetime sentence and put an end time on 26 years. But Fosmo was released on the 23rd of January, 2022, after 18 years in prison. The Philadelphia congregation took a step away from Fosmo and Osa Valdo left in 2009. Her artwork still hangs in some of their buildings. Even if Osa wasn't directly involved with the murder case, she was publicly scrutinized and got a lot of hate. In 2018, the congregation was abolished, but Knutby hasn't been completely left alone. That was all I had on the Philadelphia congregation and the Knutby drama. It is crazy to know that this happened so recently, and that Helge Fosmo was released just like last year. But anyways, next week, we will talk about the Corpella movement. So make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourself and each other, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.